Okay, uh, anyone that saw my videos earlier knows I did a little bit of work on my uh, Sig P290 today. But uh, one thing that still needs a little work is the barrel. As you can see, when I sent it to Sig, they must have shot it a lot when they were doing the repairs, so it came back really scraped up. And uh, I never really cared for the black slides on the sides on the barrels anyway, because they do get scraped up really badly. So I'm going to strip that down, polish it up, put a little bit of bling on the gun in this area right here. Nothing ever hurts to have a little shiny spot on a gun. I like to have a little bling on them. Okay, I've got my barrel. I got me some uh, 320 grit sandpaper with some oil on it. So I'm going to start taking the bling off the sides of the barrel. You can see it's already starting to come off there. Okay, uh, now that I have it mostly off, I'm going to switch over to using a Dremel uh, with a polishing wheel and a little bit of Mother's and try to get off the remainder of the black. But this is pretty porous, I've noticed. Uh, it might be a little difficult to get that out of there. I may have to go get uh, the bead blaster out and give this a bead blast before I can polish it up. But we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we've got it pretty shiny now. Still a little messy because I've got to uh, buff it off a little bit more. But uh, you can see the shine coming through really well. Okay, uh, there it is completed and back in the gun. It's got a few fingerprint smudges on it there, but I'll get those wiped off. But that gives you an idea what it looks like now. Just uh, one more step to making it a little bit more of a unique P290. And I think I've done about all I can do to it now to make it stand out. Uh, so I think this gun is pretty much done and will stay in this configuration from now on. But uh, that's just the last little step I did, the last little touch I put on the gun to make it a little bit uh, unique.